Howdy, and welcome to this video introduction to my new plugin called CD Symmetry Tools. This new plugin is a workflow plugin which helps make uh, working in symmetry a bit easier. Uh, it's designed around the CD Symmetry tag, which was originally part of the CD Morph plugin. First, let's take a look at the CD Dynamic Symmetry object. Now, this object works similar to the built-in symmetry object, but it has a few additional features. The main feature is that it dynamically splits the original geometry in half and then only mirrors the remaining geometry that's on the active side of the symmetry plane. Uh, this allows you to move the original object in and out of the symmetry plane and alter the resulting shape of the symmetry geometry. You can display the symmetry plane. Uh, you can choose which axis to mirror across. And you can also choose which side of the symmetry plane will be active, the positive side or the negative side. Now let's take a look at the CD symmetry tag. And the CD symmetry tag allows you to continue working in symmetry after a symmetry object has been made editable. Let's go ahead and add a CD symmetry tag to the object. And we'll leave the tolerance at the default. The mirror axis will be the X axis. And we'll set symmetry. Once the symmetry has been set, we can go into points mode, uh, select some points, and move them. And you can see the points on the opposite side of the object have automatically been mirrored. This works in uh, edge mode and also in polygon mode. If we enable the lock center points option, that will lock all of the center points to the symmetry plane. Now, since our mirror axis is the x axis, we won't be able to move any of the center points in the X direction, but we'll still be able to move them in the Y and the Z direction. If you enable the Restrict Symmetry option, this will restrict movement of points to the active symmetry side. So, uh, for example, here we have positive selected, so we can't move any points on the negative side. We can only move points on the positive side. This option comes in handy for when we want to use tools such as the magnet tool or the brush tool. Uh, it allows us to move points close to the center without worrying about accidentally grabbing points from the opposite side. The CD Symmetry tag can also display the uh, symmetry plane as a guide. Now let's take a look at some of the tools that are included. Here we have an object that obviously has a few points that are out of symmetry. So if we add a CD Symmetry tag and set the symmetry, we'll get an alert message here informing us that not all the points were symmetrical. If we click OK, the uh, CD Symmetry tag will go ahead and assign symmetry to the points that it can, and it will ignore those points that are out of symmetry. So you can see here, if we select a point that has a symmetrical point, it works. And if we select a point that is out of symmetry, it doesn't work. There's a tool added called CD Symmetry Assign, which will allow us to manually fix these points. If we select the tool, it automatically 
uh, shows us those points that are out of symmetry. Then we can click on a point that is out of symmetry and drag a line to its symmetrical point and it will manually assign those points as being symmetrical. So this gives us an easy way to fix all of those points that are out of symmetry. So now when we select one of those points, you can see it works. The CD Symmetry Select tool works similar to the Live Selection tool, but it only works on an object which has a CD Symmetry tag on it. And what this tool does is it allows you to select elements on both sides of the symmetry plane at once. It also works in edge mode and polygon mode. This really comes in handy for when you need to add geometry with tools like the extrusion tool. You can use the CD Symmetry Select tool to make sure you select the same polygons on both sides of the object. Then you can go to your extrude tool, make your extrusion, and you can see the same extrusion was made on the opposite side. The CD Symmetry tag also has a setup command that will set the tag up for you on the selected objects. So let's select this object. Uh, the command also has an options dialog which you can access by holding the control key down and clicking on the command. In the options dialog we can set uh, which axis the symmetry axis will be. Uh, we can set the tolerance. We can also choose to open the symmetry assign tool if there are any points that are out of symmetry. And you can see this object does have a couple of points out of symmetry. So we'll click on OK and there's the alert notifying us that not all points were symmetrical and when we click on OK the CD symmetry assign tool has automatically been enabled and we can manually correct those points. The CD Symmetry to Tag command will make the CD Dynamic Symmetry object editable plus it will automatically add a CD Symmetry tag to the polygon object. So if we select the Dynamic Symmetry uh, click on the command. You can see it made the object editable and it automatically added the CD symmetry tag plus it automatically set the symmetry. This command also works with the built-in symmetry object. The CD mirror selection command works on an object which has a CD symmetry tag on it. And what it does is mirror the existing selection from one side of the symmetry plane to the other side of the symmetry plane so that both sides are selected. Uh, this uh, command really comes in handy if you assign a hotkey to it so that if you use tools such as the ring or loop selection tool you can select the polygons and hit the hotkey to mirror it. There are two other commands which were specifically designed to be used with hotkeys and those commands are CD activate negative and CD activate positive. These two commands are designed to work with a selected object that has a CD symmetry tag on it with the restrict symmetry option enabled. Uh, these commands will toggle the pop-up menu between positive and negative.
These two commands also work on a selected object, which is the child of a CD dynamic symmetry object. The commands will toggle the active symmetry side between positive and negative. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video introduction to my new plugin, CD Symmetry Tools, and I hope you find a lot of practical uses for the plugins. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Adios.